welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain calculation of energy and power for unit step and exponential function so first here we'll be having calculation of energy and power of unit step function so when you calculate unit step function it will be this so you will be observing its value is unit 1 uh, from 0 to infinite so let us define that with function first so this is what u of t that is 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and it will be 0 at other places so else it is 0 so this is what unit step function now see in unit step function one thing that is very clear it is not periodic signal so as this is not periodic signal we should be calculating energy of this first and if it is not energy signal then we should be calculating power of it so as we know energy calculation so here energy of this signal that is happening for zero to infinite so when you calculate this energy you should be placing limit time t tends to infinite integration of minus t to t x square t dt so if you do this calculation limit t tends to infinite minus t to t so here it will be 0 to t only x square x is actually 1 so 1 square is 1 dt and if you do this integration this will be t limit is from 0 to t so this will result into limit t tends to infinite t minus 0 that is capital t and if you place limit this answer will be infinite and as this answer is infinite one can say this is not energy signal so as this is not energy signal we should calculate power of it energy of unit step is infinite so power of this signal so let us have power so power formula is limit for infinite time period it will be limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2t integration minus t to t x square t dt so this will be 1 by 2t we can place function here that function is 1 for 0 to t so 0 to t function is 1 dt so if you do this integration 1 by 2t integration of 1 is t and if you place limits it will be capital t so this t and this t will get cancelled so half is constant so power of this signal is half watt so one can say power of unit step signal that is half and energy of unit step signal that is infinite so one thing that we need to focus about when we calculate energy and power that is if signal is periodic we should calculate power first if signal is not periodic we should calculate energy first here we have calculated energy as this is not periodic signal so we have seen energy of this unit step is infinite so we go for power calculation and power is half so one can say step signal is power signal let us have as i have told you we will be calculating energy and power of unit step and exponential function so let us have exponential function power calculation so here question is find energy and power of exponential function e to the power minus 80 ut so when you see a function e to the power minus 80 so that function e to the power minus 80 that will be exponentially varying like this one can see it will be exponentially varying like this and if you see unit step function so unit step function that will be unit after t is equals to 0 like this and if you multiply this two signal over here values are 0 so multiplication of this two signal so that will look like this 
right multiplication of this two that will look like this so ultimately as if we show it with function then it will be function will be x of t that is e to the power minus a t for t greater than or equal to 0 else it is 0 so this is what the function that we have for exponential function so as this is not periodic signal we should calculate energy of this and this signal is happening for infinite time period so we should calculate energy as per basic formula limit t tends to infinite limit varies from minus t to t x square t dt so if you do this calculation so where you will be finding this limit that is happening from 0 to t only there is nothing in negative region and that function is e to the power minus a t so e to the power minus a t and square of it dt so square of this so that will result into t tends to infinite 0 to t so this square that will be e to the power minus 2 a t dt now let us have integration of this so that integration will be limit t tends to infinite integration of this that will be e to the power minus 2 a t divided by minus 2 a limit varies from 0 to t so as if you place limits here limit this limit if you place t so it will be minus e to the power minus 2 a t divided by twice a and t will be capital T over here minus minus plus 1 divided by 2 a e to the power minus 0 so e to the power minus 0 so that is 1 so you will be finding this is my this will be 1 by 2 a minus e to the power minus 2 a t by 2 a now if you apply this limit so that will result into 1 by 2 a and this is what e to the power minus infinite e to the power minus infinite that is 0 so this will be 1 by 1 by 2 a minus 0 so that is actually 1 by 2 a so we can say this is what 1 by 2 a this is what 1 by 2 a that is what energy of exponential signal so as this is energy signal with energy 1 by 2 a its power will be 0 the reason is energy signal is having zero power. Let us have one more problem based on exponential signal. So see here question is if energy of signal of x of t that is given by e to the power minus phi t u t is 1 by 10. Then energy of time scaled version of signal x of 2 t will be how much? So here we have energy of energy of x of t that is E. So for x of 2t how much energy is there? So see energy of any time scale version. So that we can define by energy of x of 2t you will be finding this it will be always e to the power 8 x of 80 that will be always e by a so here energy of x of t that is given that is 1 by 10 so what will be energy of x of 2t that will be e by 2 so energy of x of 2t so that is energy divided by 2 and we know energy is 1 by 10. So 1 by 10 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 20. So 1 by 20 
that will be energy for x of 2t as if energy of x of t that is 1 by 10. We should not calculate that by the basic process as we have done it for above example. As if this is the case, in that case I think we should go for direct calculation for energy if energy is given for normal signal. I hope that you have understood this session. Please give your valuable suggestion. Definitely based on your suggestions in future, I'll calculate examples as well as I'll place videos which will be helping students. Thank you so much for watching this video.